Our strategy in this war has been to smash Germany first and then concentrate on Japan. To wear Germany down, we had to build thousands upon thousands of medium-range bombers with fighters to protect them. And now we're equipping our arsenal to do the same job over here on Japan. This is a war of distances, of long-range attack. Our spearhead is the giant B-29 Super Fortress. An armada of thousands of these flying battleships is in preparation, and that calls for tens of thousands of Wright Cyclone engines to power them. Your friends and your neighbors build these engines right here in New Jersey. And we need more help in a hurry if we're going to do a thorough job before D-Day in Japan. We don't expect experienced help, and Wright will pay you while you learn. You'll be saving American lives on the Jap beachheads, and you'll learn a useful trade in an industry with a great future. So if you're not in essential war work now, go to the Wright Aeronautical Employment Office either in Patterson or Woodridge, or visit your nearest USES office today. Remember, Wright is in the Pacific War till the last shot is fired, so stay in the fight. Work at Wright. Victory in the Pacific is still a long way off. This Pacific War is far different from the invasion of Europe. For the invasion of Europe, we held the advantage of bases in England, a scant 30 miles from the continent. In the Pacific, our enemies are protected on all sides by hundreds of miles of open sea. And when we land in Japan, we can expect no aid from any underground. To surmount these problems, we have one tremendously potent weapon, the B-29 Super Fortress. We need a fleet of thousands of these huge bombers to blast Japan to our knees before we can deliver the knockout punch. The requirements of such a fleet of super fortresses means that tens of thousands of Wright Cyclone engines are urgently needed to power them. These famous aircraft engines are built by your neighbors right here in New Jersey. There's a job for you at Wright Aeronautical whether you've had experience or not. Pay is good, working conditions excellent. Remember, Wright is in this war until the last shot is fired in the Pacific. So apply now at Wright Aeronautical Employment Office in Patterson or Woodridge, or visit your nearest USES office. Stay in the fight. Work at Wright. These B-29 Super Fortresses are Uncle Sam's weapons against Japan. They carry a regular truckload of bombs and carry them for thousands of miles higher and faster than any other plane in the world. Each B-29 has four big cyclone engines of 2,200 horsepower each. It also has four spare engines at its base. Now, so far, we've only used 100 or so super forts in our raids on Japan. But it's going to take thousands to do the job as thoroughly as we are doing it in Germany. And that means tens of thousands of cyclone engines. If we are going to meet the Army's timetable over here in the Pacific and make it easier for our boys to win those beachheads on D-Day in Japan, we've got to get several thousand more workers and get them in a hurry. And that's where you can help. You don't need experience. Wright will teach you and pay you well while you learn. So don't delay. If you're not now in essential war work, go to the Wright Aeronautical Employment Office in either Patterson or Woodridge or visit your nearest USES office today. Remember, Wright is in the Pacific War to the finish. So stay in the fight. Work at Wright. Before the war, George Bost of Pittsburgh had his own garage business. But when the war came and George's two sons went into the service, he got into a war job at the Curtis Wright Propeller Plant in nearby Beaver, Pennsylvania. He's in this new modern war plant a key man in the vital production of blades that keep United Nations fighting planes flying, and one of the most regular war bond buyers in the Beaver plant. More men and women are urgently needed now to help fill increased orders for propellers that will fly the planes of invasion. You can back your men in service too. You too can do your share toward final victory. Get in the fight. Join Curtis Wright. New modern housing within easy walking distance of the Curtis Wright plant. Apply now at the Curtis Wright Beaver Plant Employment Office or your nearest War Manpower Commission Employment Service Office.
Introducing Mrs. Beatrice Jennings of Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania, twice a grandmother, who's doing her part to keep them flying. Preparing a dinner for nine is all in the day's work for Mrs. Jennings. And in between, while she's resting, she turns out the family wash and then sets out for her really big and important job, welding propeller blades at the Beaver Curtis Wright plant, a job she learned to do in just five weeks' time. More men and women are urgently needed for this vital and important work of welding propeller blades for our fighter planes. Blades to keep them fighting. Blades for victory. You too can learn quickly to do this interesting war work and contribute your share to victory. Get in the fight. Join Curtis Wright. New modern housing within easy walking distance of the Curtis Wright plant. Apply now at the Curtis Wright Beaver Plant Employment Office or your nearest War Manpower Commission Employment Service Office. It's the change of shift at the Curtis Wright Propeller Plant at Beaver, Pennsylvania. Say, what goes on here? Is it socially correct for a lady welder to kiss a fellow worker in front of everybody in the war plant? Well, in this case, not even Emily Post would object, because the lady welder and the machinist are husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Samuel Lamb, and they are about to depart for their respective jobs in the same war production plant. Mrs. Lamb welds propeller blades in the Curtis Wright plant at Beaver, Pennsylvania, while Mr. Lamb is a lathe operator turning out blades for our fighting planes. At lunchtime, they eat together in the plant's modern cafeteria. And in the evenings, they enjoy a real American home life with their three daughters, aged 11, 13, and 15. Yes, it's families like this working together that help win the battle of home front war production. More such husband and wife teams are urgently needed in vital war work today. You too can do your part. Get in the fight. Join Curtis Wright. New modern housing within easy walking distance of the Curtis Wright plant. Apply now at the Curtis Wright Beaver Plant Employment Office or your nearest War Manpower Commission Employment Service Office. Pretty 22-year-old Jane James knows why her work of operating this milling machine is helping to speed the day of victory. Her letters tell her that every minute counts in the battle of war production. Letters from her soldier husband who was a prisoner in Nazi Germany. Before her husband became a Nazi prisoner in the fighting in North Africa, Mrs. James did clerical work. Now she operates this precision machine to help turn out airplane propellers in the Curtis Wright plant, Beaver, Pennsylvania. And for relaxation, Mrs. James joins other women war workers in one of the comfortable restrooms. Then back to the job where all the heavy work, such as lifting, is done by the most modern mechanical equipment. Many more men and women are needed for jobs like these. You can do your part. Get in the fight. Join Curtis Wright. New modern housing within easy walking distance of the Curtis Wright plant. Apply now at the Curtis Wright Beaver Plant Employment Office or your nearest war man... <laughs> 